Welcome back to Tyson Tidbits. This is a clip from a longer workshop that we had focused around Tyson. In this video, we're going to be working with the Tyson Advanced UI library, and we're going to create a project with it. Let's get to it. And yes, I'm going to create another project, again, templates, wearable devices, in case you missed that the first time, web application, and we're going to use this one, the basic. And it's going to ask me basic, so I'm going to say no, 047. Yeah. Um, okay. But what we created, so I'm going to unfold this one, our basic application. Now we have this other project that is the TAU basic 0417. So that TAU stands for Tizen uh, Advanced UI. So Tizen Advanced UI, pretty much it gives you libraries to handle the circular, uh, shape, circular screen. I'll talk about this for a second. Uh, and uh, also uh, to handle some interaction directly that you're going to have on your, on your uh, device. So since I already see this, the emulator is going to act almost just like your phone, uh, like your watch. And after a while, it's going to start going on a sleep mode. So from time to time, if you're on Tyson Studio and you're going to uh, deploy an application here on the emulator, Sometimes it gives you an error and says like, hey, I couldn't do it. And sometimes it's because your watch is, is, is sleeping. So the only thing that you have to do is just click here or tap in one of the buttons or something. Then it wakes up and then you can do it. So just uh, it's a small thing. Now on, the, on this project, I wanted to compare it for a second with this other project that we had here. So first thing you're going to see that when you create a Tyson Advanced UI, a TAU application, you have already this other folder that is the library folder. And of course, and you can see that in this one, in the basic UI, we didn't have that folder. Here we have TAU, we have wearables, and you have two different things. One is a, a behavior, so you have the, the JavaScript files, and then you are also going to have themes that these are CSS files that are going to help you to make things a little bit better and already gives you some um, controllers that are already designed to work on the circular screen of the Galaxy Watch. So that's something that we're going to use in this specific project. Now, since the rest of the project is going to be relatively the same, we have the index HTML, we have our JavaScript here, including some additional ones, the circle help, helper and the low battery check. And we're going to have our CSS. So I'm going to open this. So we're going to start creating some things and we're going to go back. Perfect. So first thing that we're going to have here uh, is we are, uh, well, let's run this thing already on the emulator and see how it looks like. deploying doo, 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 doo. and there you go so it has a little bit of uh, more of a structure and we're going to use that so let's do this we had two parts so one that it, it was a title that I don't know if you saw it that had a little bit of a different color a blue one it's a TAU basic and then hello so immediately just uh, loading the Tyson Advanced UI, you can start using some classes on your HTML to make it look a little bit better. And you don't have to, uh, to modify those things uh, yourself. So, and this is specific, um, and that's why this project already has some of these elements to give you an idea of the name of those classes. If you're really, really, really interested in, in knowing how that works, then you can go directly to one of these. And well, it's telling you here the, the location of that. Uh, so blue, I don't know. Ah, oh, here, this is one of the ones. You're going to have like all the CSS here, kind of like a little bit minified and 
it's going to be a little bit harder to read, but you can have access to everything that you are using in this project uh, directly on those folders. So you can modify them since it's making a copy on your own project. So you can go and do that. And you can look for uh, specifically for the classes that you want. So we're going to say here, I'm going to just modify it a little bit. Tyson work workshop and go there. That's it. We're going to save it. But then uh, really with this project, the thing that I wanted to do is uh, to start going to a different uh, page. So since this works just like a, a web application, we can create as many pages, as many HTML pages as we want, and we can start moving through them. And we can start like showing different details. So let's suppose for a second that I'm going to create another HTML. So just because I'm really bad with names and because I already talked about this specific example, I'm going to create an HTML file and I'm going to call it second.html because it's our second page, right? Super original data. So there you go. So you have it there. Now, uh, on our index, index HTML, we can say, hey, I'm going to go in this paragraph, I'm going to add, uh, well, not inside, what I'm going to add here is an anchor, uh, a link to another uh, page. So here we can say directly A. So yes, this is the one that I want. Uh, well, I want to put the message inside, so I'm going to move it. Tyson Studio tries to close every, every single thing that, that we have here. So it's always well formed. And then I'm going to add the href that we want. And in this particular case, it's going to be second.html. Right? So I'm going to save this. Now, uh, this second.html, uh, it works because the two pages, second and index, they are on the same uh, folder. If we kind of like decided to uh, create another folder here that is, I don't know, pages or detail or whatever it is, I would have to put the path here and say like something like dot slash folder, name of the folder slash second.html. So that's something that, that you have to consider. Now, the other thing, I'm going to be a little bit lazy because it takes some time to type all this thing. And I'm going to go to second.html and I'm going to replace the body so I don't have to rename all this thing. And what I'm going to do is to change the ID, which could be important for navigation. And I'm going to call it second. And then here, this one, I'm just going to say second page. So this is going to be our title. And then I'm going to change this one for hola. That's it. So let's see if this works. This is the moment where, like, that I told you about the uh, demo gods. Quite likely I'm going to be missing something and it's not going to run and I'm going to be like, why is it not running? So I'm crossing my fingers. I do that every single time. It's running our application. So Tyson Workshop, hello there. And now if I click here, it goes to the second page. So that worked with all that. And this is where also the buttons begin to come in place because now just including the Tyson Advanced Library, uh, UI Library, then you can click back and it's going to send you back to the main page. So you already have a little bit of the structure of uh, an application. So you could have something here that shows you general information. For example, let's say the weather. And let's suppose that you have a list here of cities and then you want learn how is the weather in Washington, D.C. You could tap on that. It would show you the detail, and then you could just go back, pressing the button, and do that. So where, where is that? Well, that is already added on the app.js of your application when you create the project. And pretty much, you can see that is already asking some things that we can easily re uh, read here. So I'm not going to go into all the details but we're going to check it really quick. So pretty much it's adding an event listener to check for a Tyson hardware key, so HW, hardware key. Then 
is going to ask like if the key that was pressed, so the button that was pressed was back, that is the one that we have here, the, the top one, because this is the one, the, this is the, ba the, the back one and this is power. So if it's pressed back, then it's going to be checking, and this is uh, just uh, jQuery, it's going to be checking uh, like the uh, cl um, classes uh, that we're adding to the different elements and trying to find the uh, uh, UI page that was active. And that's why I try to copy paste the body of these uh, HTML uh, pages just to make certain that, that it had the right ones on the second one. So this code here, you could analyze it later and just say like, hey, this is how I wanted to make it. You could add more things here and just kind of like add different uh, IDs just to make certain that you create the right navigation in between different pages. So you could create an application that is just a, a set of pages and you're going through all of them. And depending on the elements that you are clicking, you could go to different pages or return to other pages depending on the state. So that's an easy way that you could start uh, making this animation. So that's good. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to leave your feedback and check the playlist on YouTube for more videos like this.